Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us the reason for putting rice and salt under your pillow, the spiritual benefit of it, and what you tend to gain at the end of the day. This recipe by the grace of God will help you attract any kind of money you wish to attract within a space of seven days. Another thing you can use this recipe to do, you can use it to know who is after your wealth. This has to do with wealth. Let me assume that you are stagnant, things are not working well for you, and you feel it's spiritual. You can use this method to know the person holding your glory, holding your source of livelihood. Some of us, we are doing very well before financially. All of a sudden, we are just like beggars. We hardly eat. We hardly make money to even pay our bills as a result of evil people around us. So when you put salt and rice under your pillow, by the grace of God, you will be able to know how everything about your downfall started if you follow the procedures. Some of us dream about making money, but when we wake up in real life, we'll find it difficult to get that money. This recipe will help you when you dream about making money, you'll be able to know the right direction to make that money. Or you want to embark on a particular project, a business, you want to know if that business will be suitable for you. Just use rice and salt, you'll be able to know if that business will be profitable to you. Even people that dream of lucky numbers, little uh, people that gamble, you can use this method to gamble and win whatever you wish to win by the grace of God. All you need to do for me is to get your rice. This is my rice. Okay, this is my rice. So you'll be needing 21 grains of rice. 21 grains of rice. So you are going to count 1 to 21. When you get it, you get your salt, any kind of salt. If you're using sea salt, you get 21 seed, the stone one, the coarse one. Then if you don't have sea salt, use local salt or iodized salt. Just measure a one teaspoon of it. When you measure it, make it to be flat. Okay? When you measure, just make it to be flat. It will not be heaped. Make it to be flat. Then you mix it with the rice. Put it in a ziplock or a transparent nylon like this. The ziplock must be the transparent one or a transparent nylon like this. So when you put it there, the salt and the rice, you fold it. First of all, if it's a ziplock, you just zip, zip it. If it's not, if it's a lilo, you tie it this way. Okay? Then you, you begin to speak. Remember, is for whatever you say is what will happen. There's power in your mouth. There's power in your tongue. Most of all don't know this. So begin to speak. Let me assume you want to use it to know why you are financially down. If somebody is responsible, you call upon God Almighty. That you want to know why you don't have money, why you're finding it difficult to make money, no matter how hardworking you are, no matter what you do, money still don't come. You want to know if it's a spiritual problem or you're not doing the right business. You know, at times we may be struggling because we're not doing the right business. We are doing the business because you saw that your neighbor is doing well, that business just went to join without knowing the secret of that business. So tell God Almighty to review why things are not working well for you. That maybe if you're the type that things you're working well for, all of a sudden, everything ceased. Maybe you feel, uh, you felt that maybe it's the money you gave to so, uh, somebody that the person used it against you. Tell God to review everything you need to know concerning your stagnation, concerning your, po your poverty, concerning why money is no longer coming in your hand. Then you begin to, after praying, you put it under your pillow. Then if you want to maybe use it for favor, financial breakthrough, you can use this to get money within seven days. Tell God Almighty that as you put this rice, rice signifies abundance. It signifies wealth. It signifies money. It signifies favor. Tell God Almighty that you want, you call the amount you want. Please be realistic. If you don't have any source of money and income, or maybe you don't have people that can give you that amount. Don't bother calling a very big amount. You can just say, God, you want money to pay your rent, to pay your bills. You know, miracle can happen. 
and it has been happening and no god is still going to do it i don't know when i will even have time to post testimonies on my on the community tab so tell god almighty that you want money from now to next week monday you want to make 10 million 1 million 2 million 10,000 naira 5,000 naira you want to make money to pay your rent you want to make money to go to the market most of us our shops are empty you want to restock and you don't have money because you've used it to pay some bills ask god for financial favor ask god for financial miracle that is nothing god cannot do so after praying whatever you want that has to do with financial miracle or maybe your aunt your aunt or your auntie or your uncle promised you a particular sum of money say that it's also a person promised you that wherever he is that god should touch him to release the money and god should provide for him because sometimes somebody may promise you money but the money he is expecting or she's expecting she's expecting did not come so it will make the person not to fulfill his or her promise so tell god almighty that god should provide for that your auntie or that your uncle so that he or she can be able to fulfill his promise he made towards you then after that you put it under your pillow then maybe for those that uh, want to use it for lotto just maybe i don't know the name of the lotto company you play you've maybe you have played already you've written the numbers i don't know how you guys do it you call the name of the company that if there is nobody that will be favored that let it be you in the whole world, if there is one person that God wants to be favored this week or today, that let you be that one person. If there are two people that God wants to bless through this company, let you be among them. If there are ten people that God wants to bless through this Lotto company, that let you be among the first ten. After praying, you put it under your pillow. This should be under your pillow for seven days. On the eighth day, you throw it away. If what you did, you, know, you do not get the particular amount or you do not get all you required, all you prayed for, you can repeat it again for another seven days. After the, the, the seven day or the eighth day, you throw it away and continue to do it. By the grace of God, within the first seven days, you are going to get that which you have asked from God with clean hearts. With clean hearts. But remember, whenever you are doing this spell, there are it's only two things that make it to work for you. Number one, is your faith number two just listen exactly the way i say you should do it by the time you do it like that god almighty is going to answer your prayers and that money which you've been asking god to give to you god is going to bless you with it okay yes i've come to the end of today's video thank you for watching and if you've not subscribed kindly do so by hitting the red subscribe button share my videos like my videos if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. I really appreciate it. Keep supporting the channel by liking my videos and sharing my videos. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.